بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم بیک ان اور لاسٹ ڈیمونسٹریشن وی ہیڈ سین ویریس میتھڈز آف سیٹنگ اپ دا آئی او پینس یوزنگ دی ہال میتھڈس اینڈ وی ہیڈ سین ہاؤ وی کین سیٹ اپ دیز ویریس پن نمبرز ایز اینڈ ماسکس ٹو کنٹرول دا جی پی آئی رپورٹس سو ان دس وے یو کین کنٹرول any IO pin of your choice uh, and the way you want it, whether you want to turn it on and off or whether you want to turn them on and off in a group or, or, or separately. Today we will talk a little bit more about these uh, pins, uh, uh, especially if we just want it to be a little more organized uh, so that they can be accessed in a more uh, orderly fashion. Like for example, we have 10 LEDs or 10 IO lines and we have connected them sequentially from PA0 to PA, PA9. So we had the liberty to choose our pins according to our design because we were designing it uh, right from the scratch. But in actual your uh, system or in the actual world, these pins may not be available easily um, directly because the pins might be assigned to other devices. So our pins of uh, LEDs or any other digital outputs, they might not be in the same order. Like this can be connected to PA0, this pin might be connected to PA7, and this pin might be connected to PA3, and this pin might be connected to PA10, and this can be connected to PA15, and so on. So depending upon the design, the pins can be connected in an, in an, in a disorderly fashion. However, we can make a, an arrangement in which uh, we can map the LEDs as sequential numbers, just like we have in Arduino, where they, they have numbered the digital outputs as digital pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on and they have connected those uh, to, to different uh, uh, pins of the microcontroller so in that so that we can modify the map and we can change the, the arrangement as well so in this today we will be uh, talking about this technique this is basically a software technique not a specially a hardware mat matter that how to uh, make such an arrangement so that the you don't have to remember or bother about the pin numbers and their, their connections. You just remember that I want to turn pin, pin LED 7 high or LED 3 high or LED 4, LED 4 high or low, etc. So let's see. So for that, um, there can be number of uh, mechanisms or methods available, but we will be going to uh, for a standard and uh, very useful method that you can repeat in your code and we will be using an, an array to map these pins. So we have 10 IO lines connected to LEDs so we will have an array of 10 uh, items. Um, each, each item will hold one pin number like uh, pin 0, pin 1, pin 2 and, and its uh, position because these numbers of these pin numbers like these GPIO pin 0, GPIO pin 1, etc. These are 16 bit numbers. Um, we will be making the elements 16 bit wide. So, for that, we will be creating an array which is global, global variable so that that can be accessed from any other functions uh, inside the program. So, u int 16 underscore t so this is a data type unlike the data type which we use in c language like character int long or double etc so these do not indicate the size of the uh, data because the size of data will vary from compiler to compiler and from microprocessor to microprocessor. 
like in certain uh, microprocessors int will mean two bytes of data and in some it will mean four bytes of data or 32 bits of data so in this stm32 from compilers and other embedded system compilers they have simplified it by redefining the data types as u means unsigned int means integer and if you press control space you have these options like this will be unsigned integer 8 bits 8 bits means this will be one byte which is very similar to the unsigned character data or u int 16 underscore t because we want 16 bit of data that will be unsigned 16 bit integer so we give the variable name pins and since these are 10 pins so we make an array of 10 and we can initialize it right here by writing the values in it just start the curly brackets and the first element which will be the pins of 0 should have the value pin uh, gpio pin sorry gpio underscore pin 0 so this mask will be entered into the first element so since we need 10 elements just copy it and paste it here to one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so this is pin number zero this is pin one this is pin two one and two three four five <coughs> six seven eight nine and the last one should not have the comma it now you can see these are the masks the same mask as 0x001 and this is 0x002 0x004 0x008 and here 0x200 so these masks have been entered into array and the first element will be called pins of 0 this will be pins of 1 this will be pins of 2 right if you can write the this is pins of 0 and this will be pins of 1 and this will be pins of 2 and so on so now by just changing these index numbers you can access the various pins if say so, for example this pin is not pin number 2 like this 0 1 and 2 this is connected to pa2 if we change it that this is connected to pin number 7 pa7 you just change this pin to 7 so that means that when we will be accessing the pins of 2 it will actually be pointing to pin 7 so right now by uh, we just keep it like this and we will change it later on now in your program if you want to set any pin high or low we can use the function hall underscore gpio write gpio a and here instead of the pin we will mention pins of let's say seven and here we will write 
gpio underscore pen set so this will turn the pins of seven and pins of seven is you can see that this will be pin number seven to be high just hover over it and it will show you the all the settings which you have mentioned in in the uh, <clears throat> array so this is a good user uh, friendly approach in this id that all the variables and its values they are shown in the intellisense now if you compile it well there are two errors what are these errors gpio pin one oh we missed the comma here now we project and build the project and there are no errors and now let's see if we are using the same gpio one hex okay we run it and here pin number seven has become high now let's suppose this pa7 is not connected to pa7 it is connected to pa15 so if we just rename it and we connect to it to PA15. So now this pin is connected to PA15. So PA15 is here. So, but our uh, definition of pin number seven is is the, the LED seven. So we just go out to our array and just change this seven pin to fifteen. And, but in our program, it will remain the same as pin number seven. It will remain pin number seven. So now pin number seven, which we are uh, uh, abstracting on this LED number seven is now pointing to PA15. Now let's compile it and see. and run it so again uh, this is because pin we have not declared pin number 15 as digital so let's go back and in our gpio this gpio ioc file contains our definitions of graphic interface Right, and where is GPIO PA15, PA13? PA14, and this is PA15. So we make it as GPIO output and just save it and regenerate the code. now build it again and let's run it so now you can see we have mentioned only pin number seven but now pin number seven is pointing to pa15 uh, here so if you have these pins in different order you can just rearrange the order in your uh, array uh, but your actual program will address them in the same way as PA7 or PA8 or PA2. So I hope you would have liked this uh, method of uh, remapping the pins uh, as a sequential number of array and remapping the pins to various uh, GPIO pins. 
This method holds true only if all the pins are connected to the same I/O port. Like all the pins are connected to port A, GPIOA. If some pins are connected to port B and some connected the pin to port port number A, then we will need another method in which we will not only mention the pins position in the port but also the port number. So in that case, every pin will have two definition variables. One is the port number and one will be the pin number. That we will talk uh, in our next uh, discussion. So we stop here, I think. And uh, in our next talk, we will be talking about the functions and we will make uh, general purpose functions for our libraries so that we can use them again and again and our code becomes a little more organized. Thank you very much and stay blessed. May Allah help you all. Allah Hafiz.